The next couple tools that we're going to talk about are tools that you can use to remove blemishes or imperfections in an image. And each one has kind of a different purpose and a different end goal, but they all work similarly. And so I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about the spot healing brush and the healing brush in detail, but it kind of sets up the foundation for other tools that we'll talk about. And so, you know, bear with me with my little bit of long-windedness over the next few slides. Um, ultimately, it'll be helpful in the long run. And so if there's a blemish or a small unwanted defect in an image you would like to remove, uh, you can use the spot healing brush tool. It's probably your best place to start because it's the easiest of the tools that we're going to talk about. By simply brushing over the image where the imperfection is, Photoshop will attempt to remove the blemish while blending it into the surrounding backgrounds. This is another one of the tools that you're probably not going to have on the surface of your tools panel unless you've edited the tools panel to your liking. And so you'll have to come down to the bottom of the tools panel and push and hold get the flyout menu for all of your other options and you'll have to select the spot healing brush tool. Some reasons to use a spot healing brush tool and the healing brush tool and the clone stamp tool that we're going to talk about over the next few videos are to remove a shiny hot spot in a portrait caused by lighting equipment. You can remove an unwanted reflection in someone's glasses which is something I'm going to specifically demonstrate. You can also remove a pimple or a blemish off of someone's face and you can lessen the intensity of wrinkles or age spots and so we'll talk about a spot healing brush, the healing brush, the patch tool, and the clone stamp tool and they can all be used to do all the things I just listed but as you start to play around and experiment with the brushes you'll figure out which one you feel most comfortable using in which scenario. And so if we talk about the spot healing brush tool, in this case I have an image of this lady and I took a picture and the flash went off when I took the picture. And when the flash went off, we got a copy of the flash in her sunglasses and we don't want to see that in our image. We also, maybe even if I didn't have a flash, I could see myself taking the picture. If you look really closely, um, if you zoom in on the video or on the image that you can download from our stock image site, you'll be able to see that you can see somebody in the reverse of the image taking the picture. Um, using the spot healing brush tool, you can either paint or just click an area of the image and the spot healing brush will sample pixels around your paintbrush stroke and it will attempt to remove the unwanted image uh, or an unwanted part or element in the image. This is another example of the spot healing brush tool and so I have this image that we've been using for our slideshow and this lady has maybe a slight blemish on her forehead, she has a little bit of shininess on the front of her nose and a little bit of shininess on her cheek. And so with the spot healing brush tool, all I did was select the tool and click these spots. I didn't do anything else but click. Um, it magically erased those parts of the image. And so if we jump over to Photoshop, it's going to take me a second because I don't have the image open, so please bear with me. If we open those two images, and mine are on my desktop here, we'll do the image with the sunglasses first. You can zoom in on the area that you want to work with and so I'll zoom in on this lady's face here you can see if you look closely that there's a reflection on the left hand side of someone else sitting in the restaurant and on the right hand side you have the lens flare and you have the picture of the person taking the picture if we follow our good practices for editing and duplicate the layer we can practice non-destructive editing and then you can grab the spot healing brush tool which you may have to hit the option or the fly out menu at the bottom of the tools panel and we don't want the healing brush tool, we want the spot healing brush tool for this first go around. With this brush you can just click on an area and it will try to get rid of it. Now on this particular image maybe that's not what I want to do because I want to get rid of the person too so maybe you just kinda brush over the area that you want to make darker and it will make that area disappear and now when we zoom out you cannot tell that there was a lens flare in her glasses to begin with. If we want to repeat the other example, let's go ahead and open up the image of that lady that we've been using. Uh, we can remove blemishes in addition to lens flares or hot spots as they're called. And you can, let's duplicate our layer, can never forget that. You can just click on an area and what happens with the spot healing brush tool is when you click, Photoshop looks at the pixels around your brush stroke or where you've clicked with your mouse and it tries to say okay well that's red and all the other pixels around it are a peach color so you must be trying to get rid of what's different and what's different was the red part and so if I want to get rid of the hot spot on her nose you can just click now it didn't work so well that time maybe my brush was too big and so if that happens just hit undo make your brush smaller 
and then try to get rid of the hot spot that way. You can also brush over an area and you can create a larger change um, while getting rid of those hot spots. And now if we zoom out, you'll never know that she had a blemish on her forehead or she had some hot spots on her nose or on her cheeks.